Not TikTok had me in a chokehold for no reason. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Y'all see the title. Today's video is my best and worst products of 2023. All the products that I'll be showing you guys in my best and my worst, like on my list, is not sponsored you guys i purchased all these items with my money even if they were sponsored you would still get my raw and unfiltered review um i know that you know you guys watch you guys are heavily influenced i am as well i think y'all be forgetting that influencers get influenced too so a lot of these items i saw on tiktok or instagram and i ran to go by and ended up not liking so today I'm going to be telling you guys what I dislike and what I like. But before we get into that, we got to give a big shout out to our sponsor for today's video, which is Dossier. They sent me over three perfumes to add to my perfume collection. And you guys know Valentine's Day is coming up. And I get perfume from Dossier every month. I just love them so much. So I was like, let me pick out something for a man i want to test their manly scent so if y'all don't know what dossier is dossier is a company that creates dupes to your high-end luxury perfumes your tom ford your chanel your gucci your louis vuitton you can get that same scent for a very very affordable price and by using my coupon code which will be down below all of that is available on dossier they actually did start introducing other items um, besides perfume that I am gonna go and buy because I want to test it out I picked out three perfumes today you guys and like I said Valentine's Day is coming up so I wanted to see what their manly scents smell like the first scent that I got is the arom aromatic watermelon this is a dupe to the Ralph Lauren Polo Blue Eau de Toilette and as you guys know you do get a 50 milliliter bottle which is a very good size. This has top notes of watermelon and other things I can't pronounce, middle notes of basil and other things I can't pronounce, and then base notes of other things that I cannot pronounce. But this smells so good, I could smell it through the box. This smells so good. Oh my God, this smells so fresh, you guys. So this is the aromatic watermelon. The next scent that they sent me is powdery tobacco, which is a dupe to the Tom Ford tobacco vanilla. And these are not replicas, you guys. These are dupes, okay? So, but it is the same scent. I'm not going to lie. Damn, this just smells good. Powdery tobacco. I don't want to get the scents confused. Oh, oh, that's strong. They sent me aromatic ginger. This one is so far my favorite. This is a dupe to the Louis Vuitton, something that I cannot pronounce. Oh, my God. This smells so good. Oh my God. This has top notes of ginger, grapefruit, middle notes of rosemary, and base notes of amberwood. This smells so... Wow, this smells so good. Oh my God. I'll leave Dossier's link down below if you guys are interested in checking them out. Don't forget that they are 100% cruelty and vegan if you guys are interested. I'll leave them linked down below. And we're going to hop right into the video. Okay, so we're going to start off with good stuff. Okay, y'all? We're going to start off with my favorite items for 2023. Let's hop into body care first. As you guys know, I just had a baby um, exactly one month and one day ago. And my biggest fear was stretch marks. I was like, God, if you, if you take my body up, I'm going to get a tummy tuck. Like, that's what I told myself. I already talked to the doctor. Like, I had already had the doctor in mind. Like, my round two doctor was who I was going to go to for my round three. Like, I had everything set in stone. I'm, I'm going to put this deposit down. I got to put y'all on to this. I'm not even going to be fake to y'all. I kept seeing ads for this item everywhere. I don't know if I can give it um, full credit because, like you say, like y'all say, um, stretch marks are genetic. But... I have stretch marks on my side from when I was younger and I gained weight really fast, but I don't have no stretch marks on my belly. So I can get stretch marks. I just didn't get any. So I got to put y'all onto this. I kept seeing ads on it and I was like, let me buy it and try it out. And I actually have a lot of them. And I think this one is like expiring or something. I don't know. But um, this is from a company called Eight Sheep Organics. I'll leave the link down below. A company called Eight Sheep Organics, and this is called their True Belly Serum. It's this and their 
belly balm that is what i used together as you guys seen in my vlogs for you know to reduce stretch marks a lot of y'all were saying you might not get stretch marks while you're pregnant but you might get it after you're pregnant and it's been a month and i don't have one stretch mark not even a half of it not even a fourth of it like i don't have no stretch marks so the product that i used every day multiple times a day is this product right here and i purchased it with my own money true belly serum by a sheep organics and their belly balm like i said i'll leave it down below it's very soft i don't remember which one is supposed to go first but i know one goes on your belly first and then the other one seals the product so i don't know what kind of concoction or magic fingers they have at this place but this shit works it's the only product that i can vouch for for my ladies that are pregnant or that you just have stretch marks they have stretch mark fading cream that i ended up buying because i'm like i ain't got stretch marks but in case them shits feel like they want to come or they're in the process of coming i want to attack them before they come so i also have those products but that's in the bathroom and i purchased it with my own money like i told y'all none of the items that i'm showing y'all is sponsored so yeah true belly serum h super organics i think it is all organic ingredients think i don't don't quote me just i'll leave them link down below y'all go check them out but 10 out of 10 this saved my body who the fuck is at my door what the fuck? like i said definitely if anything is my favorite it's gonna be that that literally saved me my whole pregnancy next we're gonna get into sarah v y'all this is my favorite skin care brand period it's not one item that i tried from CeraVe that didn't do an amazing job like if y'all can see my skin well, i mean i got makeup on but the skin looked like this under the makeup too like my skin is literally perfect i have a few blemishes but that's really it but CeraVe they taking the cake this is their renewing sa cleanser as y'all can see i don't know if y'all can see how much i used yeah y'all can see it I definitely bust this down into the ground this is what i was using every single day my entire pregnancy until i found that this was i guess new and this is their hydrating foaming oil cleanser and i love a cleanser that foams and gets really soapy so this is for a dry to very dry skin but i don't have dry skin but i still wanted to use it any anyway so i use this every day and as y'all can see um carry crying oh as y'all can see um I'm, I'm getting kind of like I'm we're going to be done with this this year. So these are my two favorite cleansers from CeraVe. If y'all want to go check them out, leaves my skin not feeling dry. A lot of skin care products, skin cleansers, facial washes, whatever. They leave my skin feeling so dry, like so, so, so dry. So these are my favorite. I'll leave these linked down below if y'all want to check them out. Y'all know these are available at Walmart, Rite Aid, everywhere. Like these are literally everywhere. So. Yeah, definitely 10 out of 10. I love CeraVe. It says it's developed by dermatologists. I, they can't be lying because I have not had a pimple. In a, I don't remember the last time I even had a pimple. Like, that's how good CeraVe is. And then my other favorite product from them is their moisturizing cream. I think I got this from Walmart. And I love it so much. It says that it moisturizes and helps restore the protective skin barrier. This is for normal to dry skin. This... Oh, and it says it has a rich texture, which it does. So this gives me the perfect level of moisturizing, if that makes sense. Like it's not too glowy, too moisturizing, but it's it's literally perfect. So I do actually use this before I put on my primer for my makeup. I use this almost every day, if not every day. So I love this moisturizer so much. Um, I used to use the Versed Skin Soak Rich Moisture Cream but y'all i don't know they don't really come with that much product they don't really come with that much product so i wanted a bigger moisturizer and i did want to use the noxzema moisturizer but bitch noxzema be burn burning my skin so so bad so i don't want a moisturizer or a cleanser that's gonna burn my skin i'm not i feel like it's acid so no 10 out of 10 i'll leave this link down below if y'all want to check it out it's so gentle on my skin, y'all. I love this moisturizer. Like, I don't think I ever want to use any other moisturizer. Another moisturizer that I can compare to this that is very, very, very good quality is the Pons. I can't find it, which is why I went and bought this one. But I need a moisturizer in my life because I'll be washing my face, 
and I need something to seal if that makes sense. So 10 out of 10. Next, what's next? I know I was just talking shit about Noxzema, but my favorite product, well, the only product that I can use from Noxzema is these anti-blemish pads. It says it clears and prevents breakouts for smooth and clear skin. This with my CeraVe, I mean, I literally skin flawless, like no complaints. I remember you guys were telling me my whole pregnancy, oh my God, you're glowing. And it wasn't because I was pregnant. It's because I started implementing a skincare routine every single day, like every day. So this is what it looks like, y'all. And it's just a pad. It comes with 90 pads and I absolutely love it. Um, when you first use it a couple times, it is going to burn a little, but this is like a, uh, it's like the same brand that I get with the moisturizer. This is like a skin feels clean. Like you feel like you're literally cleaning your skin. Like it feels so like you don't have a, a, a spot of dirt left on your face after you use it. So this is a good burn. It's not the bad burn like the moisturizer and the other Noxema products. This one right here. I love it so much and I cannot, I don't think I'll ever use anything else. And I don't have any blemishes on my face. I have like one, I don't know if y'all can see it. Y'all can't see it because of the damn quality of the camera. But I have like one blemish right here and that's it. Face flawless, skin flawless. I'm telling you like butter. So this is what I use. Um, I actually did an Instagram reel on my skincare routine if y'all want to go check that out. But... 10 out of 10. I'm telling you. Let me tell you something. It was Black Friday. I'm scrolling through my phone, scrolling through Instagram. And I see, I come across a company. The name of the company is called Good Molecules, right? They had like a special where it was like, they had a skincare fridge for like $15. So I'm like, shit, I'm about to buy it. But then they had like this package deal. Mind you, I had never heard about this company, never heard anything good or bad. They had like a little package where it was like you get the um, fridge and you get a couple products and I think it was like $50. I picked out the discoloration products. Like they have different products for different issues. And I just placed the order with them like a couple days ago. Like I keep buying all these fucking products. I just be loving them. Like I don't know. This is their discoloration correcting serum. This improves the appearance of hyperpigmentation and dark spots. When I tell y'all, this is what it looks like. I'll leave everything linked down below like I keep telling y'all. <laughs> this right here, first of all, the fridge, I love the fridge, but I don't leave it plugged in. I use, I was gonna leave it plugged in every day, but I'm like, why am I gonna keep wasting electricity? So I didn't leave it plugged in. I, I only plug it in if I know that night that I'm gonna do skincare routine, like a, a deep, deep, deep skincare routine. And I actually haven't done that in a while, so. Yeah, the fridge is kind of just sitting there holding my products. The fridge is not that big though, but I wasn't finna burn that shit over here. But it's definitely recommended. So if y'all want to go check them out and get the fridge, the small fridge, then do that. If you want to go on Amazon, get your small skincare fridge, amazing. But I really do love these products. I love Good Molecules products. I have a couple more. And I love it if it's cold. So this is their serum. It's just like a dropper, as y'all can see. And it just... It's a serum. Now, I guess this you're supposed to let dry before you put on your moisturizer, which is what I do. After I go in with the Noxzema, I bust this out and I love this. This literally makes my skin color just look even, like even. I used to use color correcting for around my mouth that it was dark, around my nose and under my eyes. But since I've been using this serum, which I've been using it for like, since, since Black Friday, so like a month and a half now, um, like I have no complaints. This product is absolutely amazing. Like it's so soft on my skin. I don't know if this is all natural ingredients, but I love, 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 love this serum. I also got like a, some other products from this line and I got it because remember I told y'all I'm looking for something that's going to lighten up my inner thigh area. I never realized how black it is. <laughs> it's, it's dark. It's darker than the rest of my body, but that's why actually why I invested in this and their products are mad cheap like i think this is like six dollars i've seen products for like five dollars like they are really affordable so i'll leave them linked down below if y'all want to check them out but 10 out of 10 if you are dealing with hyperpigmentation or you have dark spots on your face you have really bad acne marks 
trust me like buy this product and use it every day for over a month and i'm telling you you will see results so 10 out of 10 not sponsored i literally just placed the order with them again because i'm just so addicted so then if you guys see my vlogmas you guys know i raved about these masks i got these masks from ross i was just going through ross and i seen a mask set it was like six masks for five dollars so i bought the masks i did not think that i would love sheet masks i don't like sheet masks i'd rather a mask that i can rub in like it's a product i can and then wash it off i'm not really a big fan of the whole sheet mask thing until i came across this brand now this brand is called sap Laya. i'll leave them link down below as well and as you guys know black friday they had a 50 percent off sale so i got each mask for like 75 cents and i think i bought like 30 masks like i have a lot of these masks but i absolutely love them y'all they i would say the only con is that when they go on it's cold like it's really cold whether it's in a fridge or not the mask whatever gel is in here you put it on your face it's cold and it's a lot of gel so as soon as you put the mask on whatever gel you get whatever like which one whatever it's gonna start like dripping a little so it's a little oversaturated but i love that it makes my skin very moisturized so i'll leave it on for 10 minutes take it off and then my skin will feel like baby smooth like it will feel like not too wet but like it would just feel so beautiful and moisturized so you know i got this shit in like every one that they have this is the anti-collagen this is the therapeutic royal jelly and then this one is the one i'm probably going to use next because it just looks so beautiful and this is the illuminating pearl if you can see then i got more in here i got shit i got these masks everywhere so yeah i'll leave them link down below if y'all want to check them out In my vlogs, which if you're watching this and you don't watch my vlogs, what are some gal? Um, I told you guys that Black Friday, I purchased this hair mask. Sally's was having a sale online. Y'all know I'm an impulsive maniac hoarder. So I went on there and I purchased um, some hair masks that was on sale. Because I also do want to take care of my hair. Like I told y'all, I'm scared of like, I'm like terrified of postpartum shedding. So... I got this Sauce Beauty Deep Moisture Hair Mask. And every time that I put this on in my vlog, you guys ask me, what mask is that? That has your hair so moisturized, so luscious, so curly, so shiny, so beautiful, so moisturized. That's this product right here. And I forgot the name of it. That's why I couldn't respond to y'all comments and be like, oh, what's this? This is the Sauce Beauty Deep Moisture Mask. I will leave it linked down below. Y'all, you're supposed to leave this in for... Three to five minutes and i leave this shit in my head overnight okay um this is pretty affordable so i do go in and i use a lot because i don't know i just have a problem like i'm really heavy-handed so i do use a lot and this is my second one i bought two of them so this is my second one i wanted to just show y'all this because i know you guys kept asking about um this mask and i didn't remember the name so this is the mask that you guys going crazy over in my vlog that kept my hair moisturized and just looking like a brand new baby you know how brand new babies have that silkiness that's this product right here i'm trying to i'm really trying to put y'all on because I, I don't know if i'm gonna put y'all on again like this i'm putting y'all on to everything that i love so lastly i went to the px you guys i was just this was i think like damn when was this Maybe like five, six months ago, I went to the PX. And I, I like clearance stuff. So I seen a red sticker on a Victoria's Secret pink item. So I'm like, let me just try these scrubs. These scrubs are slept on. A lot of people like the Tree Hut scrubs. I think they retail for about $8 to $9, whatever. Those are nice too. Those are cool. Those are whatever. This scrub right here. This line of scrubs, I think people are sleeping on pink. Like, even I slept on pink because I'm like, I only bought it because it was on clearance. These scrubs are the best scrubs that I ever scrubbed on my body. Now, you know how you use the Tree Hut scrub or any other body scrub? You scrub it on and then it's just like, like an exfoliating scrub. It just, it's like scrub. So it's like sugar or coffee, whatever it is. It's just that. This scrub is like really weird because well it has vitamin e in it but it's a scrub but then it also goes on like a scrub in a body wash like it gets 
don't know how to explain it. It gets thick. It, it literally feels like a scrub and a body wash. And I've never had a scrub like that. So I love this scrub. I had another scent that was brown. That smelled so good. And I used the like every last drop. I used every last drop. This is the mango one. It's the mango scrub with vitamin E and mango extract. It's a nourishing body scrub. Like, it, it's nourishing, bitch. Like, it's very nourishing. Like, I'm not going to lie to y'all. This is what it looks like. I got it for clearance. If y'all want to check out the links down below, then y'all will see them. But pink is so slept on. Like, I... This, their essential oil and their body wash so like this mango scrub has a matching body wash a matching spray a matching y'all know Victoria's Secret 10 out of 10 like I, I I'm so shocked the body wash I love too um and I have the essential oils which I also put on my stomach here and there throughout my pregnancy so 10 out of 10 I'm telling y'all just go get it this was on sale for six dollars so just the best six dollars I ever spent yeah look what it says it says fill Super powered in your skin. A nourishing, radiance boosting blend of mango extract, vitamin E, and smoothing sugar crystals. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It just, it's not your regular scrub. It like scrubs your body and washes it. Like, it's like a body wash and a scrub put together. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, exfoliating, polish, and smooth. It's, it's like. Now let's get into the products that I dislike for 2023. And there's only two of them, but these two products, y'all, the girls are going to dislike me because this is the product that all the TikTokers and influencers are promoting. I don't know if it's sponsored or not, but I'm going to be honest, it ain't do shit for me. So we're going to start off with this motherfucking body wash. Y'all, this body wash right here. I was with my homegirl. We driving around, we went to Ross, whatever. She was like, girl, have you heard about this body wash on TikTok? I said, no, girl, I don't be on TikTok, but let me see the body wash. She showed it to me, and it looks like your typical Instagram ad aesthetic body wash. It, it does. It, it really does. So she was like, yeah, girl, we got to get that. It's called a gl the Glow Getter. She was like, we got to go get that Glow Getter. We went to Target. We went all these places. We I think we drove to Africa and back, and we could not find it. So we finally found it. She was like hyping me up. I'm seeing all these TikToks on it. I'm seeing all these reviews. Oh my God, the best body wash. This didn't do shit for me. And it has no scent. I feel like I didn't do enough research, but I'm gonna be honest, this didn't do nothing for me. I would not purchase this again. Um, but the way that they're raving about this on the internet, I was like, I gotta tell y'all that this shit is booty. This shit is booty, but I heard that it's supposed to be for people who have acne prone skin. So that's probably why I didn't see no difference. It didn't do shit for me. I at least wanted it to smell good. It didn't have a smell. Like it's literally like, in my opinion, like antibacterial dial in a bottle. Like just nothing. It's not giving anything. Like I can't even lie to y'all. But this is the Natrium Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. It is an oil to gel formula that intensely nourishes. That did not do that for me. I'm not going to lie to y'all. So I don't know. Maybe my skin is already hydrated and nourished. I don't know. But the first time I used it, I realized I didn't like it. But I said, let me not be biased. Let me try it out. So as y'all can see, I use it every day now. So I want to make sure I use all the products, like all of it, before I come and tell y'all that I don't like it. And it's not that I don't like it. It just don't do nothing for me. Like It's like I feel like you could use a bar of soap instead of paying, well, how much was this? $20? Instead of paying $20 for a body wash. 15 20 dollars so the instagram girlies the tiktok girlies y'all lied to me so no zero out of ten zero out of ten for real yeah unless y'all can tell me what it's supposed to do because it didn't do nothing for me so if you guys use this and y'all like it comment down below and let me know because i mean it could just be my opinion my i don't like it sorry another brand that has the girls going crazy on social media and they I see they sponsor a lot of influencers so once I seen once I seen it I was like okay let me try it out native you guys I don't know you guys see this all over social media all over Target okay 
This is the native lotion. It says that it moisturizes all day with ingredients that I understand, that you understand. That's what it says. It says it's paraben free, silicone free, and this is in the scent sugar cookie. Now I will tell y'all this smells so fucking good. This smells like oh my, like a chocolate man. Like it smells so good. Like I, if I could eat this, I would eat this. It smells so good. Oh my god. Like it makes my body weak. That's how good it smells. That's actually why I ended up buying it. But I don't know if I bought a defective one or my skin ain't dry enough. But when I put this lotion on, you guys, it takes me about 30 minutes to rub it in. Because it just stays on me and it's white. So it just stays on my skin and it's white. So it doesn't blend well at all, y'all. It doesn't blend in well. You literally going to be for an hour trying to get it into your skin. I don't know. Maybe I bought the wrong one. I, I don't know. Like, slather, sniff, smile. I, I don't. I don't know it just this lotion smells amazing the smell is there the branding is there I, I get it like I understand but the lotion is not really lotion and let me see let me see if I can show y'all real quick so y'all don't think I'm lying so this is the lotion and I just be feeling like I be having a like rub it in for like 30 minutes I'm not exaggerating and it just gets whiter and whiter. Can y'all see? It just gets whiter and whiter. It doesn't like blend. I don't know if that, I don't know if y'all can see, but I'm still blending and it's not. Or you'll be blending all day. So that's the only con about this lotion. It smells very good though. So if y'all don't care about um, rubbing your arm for an hour, getting like rope burn on your arm, then I mean, I would recommend y'all go get it. But for me, I don't got all day to be rubbing in lotion. So. But it smells really good. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, that is it for today's video. If you guys want this kind of video, but in like a perfume version, uh, a fashion version, like different versions, let me know. Because I kind of want to do a makeup one, but I don't know. I feel like I don't have subbies that really are tapped into the makeup game. But we'll see. I don't know. But yeah, thank you so much again to Dacia for sponsoring today's video. I love y'all, and um, if you guys use any of these products um, and have a different review than, than I do, then comment down below. I mean, we could talk about it because, girl, ugh, this shit, right? This really disappointed me. Like, I am, I'm still going to finish it, but no. Not TikTok had me in a chokehold for no reason. Mm -mm. But yeah, I love you guys, and like I said, everything will be linked down below if y'all are interested in checking out any of the products. Like I told y'all, I purchased those products with my own money. Wasn't sponsored. Dacia did sponsor um, a portion of today's video because I gotta get my... Okay, so I love you guys and I will see y'all in my next video.